And here we are outside of Rise Yoga Studio. We'll be going in to meet some of our instructors. I'm Ann DePrado doing the filming. And welcome. Hi, welcome to Rise Yoga. Are you new here? Yes. Well, I'm here to take you on your tour. Welcome to our Center for Health and Healing. We have yoga for abundance, yoga for health, yoga for fitness, yoga for cramps. If you've got it, we've got yoga. Let's go look at our studio. So this is our practice space. And here we have some of our fabulous instructors talking. Let's go and see what they're talking about. first morning and I go to the yoga room and there's uh, howler monkeys up in the trees. I go to the didn't talk to anybody that morning and they make this amazing sound and I'm like sitting there, nobody else is flinching and I'm like wait, waiting for somebody to like come out of the bushes and attack like this like or to at least acknowledge that something, something out of the ordinary is going No, on. no, just like, yeah. So I'm like sitting on the mat like Clenching and pinching, <laughs> clenching and like waiting for some like Ready pterodactyl. Ready to drop on your shoulder and yeah. shriek. Yeah, and everybody's just like laying at their mats and like stretching and downward facing dog and, and I'm like. Oh. So they're all used to it. Yeah. So it sounds like you're talking about the time you were in Costa Rica just recently? Yes, I just got back from the teacher training in Costa Rica. <laughs> so this is instructor Jamie. Laura Hello. and Josh. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. So it is true that men do yoga and we're monkey free here. <laughs> so come on over. You know, a great thing to add to yoga is massage therapy. And you know what? We've got one right here. <laughs> That's Alvin. He touches people. He's <laughs> been the right way. <laughs> so this is Alvin Kinser, our massage therapist, and Amanda. Great working here in the studio because it's connected and so peaceful an environment and everything, so it all melts in together, working with people and working with bodies. And plus, the studio has such a healthful aspect to it anyway, so it all kind of blends together. But speaking of things that are blending together, I hear that you've got a homestead project with a bunch of chickens going on. Oh, not yet. That's right. We'd love to have a chicken or two. Or actually, we probably should have six or seven because we don't have eggs, but we'd love to do that and build a chicken coop and you know have it supplement our garden and everything. And so, down the road. Thinking about it, yeah. And you got a vegetable garden going too, right? I do got a vegetable garden. My two little kids love it. So it's the mini farm in the middle of the city. Exactly. Thank you. So although yoga is all about animal poses, evidently we also raise them here as well. Look for the howler monkeys in the ceiling. Come this way. Let's go into the lounge. And here we have three more of our fabulous instructors. They just seem to be everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have Sylvia, Sitara, and Reno. Oh, what do you do, Sylvia? Um, I'm an attorney. I represent Child Protective Services. And uh, when they step in, when kids are abused or neglected, it's my current uh, role in life. And by night, I'm a yoga teacher. Ah, and an excellent one at that. Well, thank you. You want to know what I do? Yeah. Yeah. Tell us what you do, Reno. I I keep busy working with children as well. I tutor them um, at a learning center, so I do one-on-one -on -one tutoring, and I teach uh, yoga classes, and I also. I'm working on my master's in sociology, so I go to school and I teach and all that fun stuff. And I'm a musician too, so I play drums and keyboards and all kinds of stuff. When do you sleep? Very rarely. Yeah. Every other day. <laughs> and Sitara has been a traveler as well. 
<laughs> Where did you just recently come back from, Satara? I just came back from a year-long trip around the globe. Wow. And, um, <laughs> Europe, Australia, and Southeast Asia, and the Middle East. Mm -hmm. 12 countries. Interesting. Did you, know, did you know people in the different countries, or yeah. you're just kind of freelancing? Yeah, yeah both. Both. I knew people, so I was meeting up with friends, and I was going to some place in London, too. So it was a combination of both. It's very exciting. Mm -hmm. I love to travel. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. And this is where we will conclude our adventures in at Rise Yoga Studio with our instructors. Namaste. Namaste.